Okay, I'm just going to look at some indice equations. Now, I just want to go through what a base and an indice is. So, like, if you have 2 to the power of 3, that's 8. 2 is called the base, 3 is called the indice, and 8 is just the answer when you raise 2 to the power of 3. And the indice just tells you how many times to multiply it. 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8. Okay, so 2... 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 0 is 1, there. 2 to the 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 2 to the 4 is 16, and you could keep going, you could do base 3, 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 to the 2 is 9, 3 to the 3 is 27, etc. So you, you could do multiple different bases. So when we have an equation and we want to work out what the base is, I mean, so what the indice is, so say you have 2 to the x equals 8. What we're really doing here is we're working out 2 to the power of what will give you 8. Now, this is quite a simple one, but what I want you to get used to is if you've got 2 to the x, if you can get the 8 and you can write it as index form, like 2 to the 3, then all that you need to do is just equate the indices. So that means that x would equal 3. Okay, so say we have 3 to the power of x and we had x plus 1, and that one equals 81. Then what you do is you go 3 to the power of x plus 1. Now, 9, 81 would be 3 to the power of what? So just try it. We know 3 to the 2 is 9. 3 to the 3, just get your calculator, is 27. 3 to the 4, yep, that will be 81. So write it in index form as 3 to the power of 4, and then you can just equate the indices. So you just end up with x plus 1 equals 4. So x is 4 minus 1, so x equals 3. Okay, so we're just going to call on some of our other indice rules that we, we know um, so that we can write things in index form because when we can write in things in index um, form or indice form, then we can just equate the indices in an equation. So to solve an equation, you need to put um, the equation has to go into index form on both sides. And then all that's left to do is you just equate the indices. Because if you, you'd have to, if you've got the same base, you have to have the same base, that's a requirement. So say I have seven, um, no, sorry, one, some of the rules are these. So if you've got one over x to the n, we know we can write it in index form by bringing it up to the top. Uh, if we've got the nth root of x um, to the m, we can write it as x to the m over m. And what's on the on the uh, root thing, or what's on the floor is at the door, and what's on top stays on top. Okay, the other thing we can do is, um, so that's the negative one, we've got that. Yep, even if we had this, the nth root of x to the m, that would be to the minus m over m, because you've got to bring it up and then you're just putting it into index form. So let's just say we just make these equations a little bit um, harder. Let's say we have 3 to the x plus 1 equals 1 over the square root of 27, and we're trying to find what x is. So 3 to the x plus 1, so that's fine. That's got written as a base 3, so we're all good there. This one here we can put as the square root of 3 to the 3. Okay, now a square root is a power of 2, and we did a bit of this work when we did uh, calculus. So now we can write that as 3 on 2, because what's at the door goes on the floor, and what's on top stays on top. Okay, then you bring it up to the top, and you get 3 to the minus 3 on 2. And then we just know that these indices here, because they have the same base, those indices here must be equal to each other. So that means x equals minus 3 on 2 minus 1. So x is minus 2 and a half, because 3 on 2 is 1 and a half. Okay, and that's that. All right, so let's just have a look at another one. So um, I'm going to make this a little bit trickier. So I go x plus 1, just so you get the idea, equals 1 over the cube root of... Um, Let's go for uh, 32. Let's go 32. Okay, so we, we can't, the base that we'll be looking at when we're doing 4 and 32 is a base 2 because it goes 2, 4, 
8, see how I'm doubling it, 16, 32, 64. It is good to be familiar with these. If not, you just put into your calculator till you find it. 4 is 2 to the 2 to the x plus 1. And this is 1 over the cube root of 2 to the power of 5, because 32 would be to the power of 5. Okay, so that will be 2 to the, multiply the indices, so that's 2 plus 2, because that's using this rule. Remember when you have a bracket, you multiply the indice. And this one here is 1 over 2 to the power of 5 on 3, because on the floor, on the floor will be at the door. Bring it up to the top, so 2 to the 2x plus 2 is 2 to the minus 5 on 3. So that means that 2x plus 2 now will equal minus 5 on 3 because basically you just have to equate the indices. Okay, so um, that means now if you take away 2 from both sides, that's minus 1 and 2 thirds take away 2. So 2x equals minus 3 and 2 thirds. And just because I don't have my calculator here, I'm just going to make that minus 9 plus 2 is 11 on 3. And then I'm just going to, that's times 2, so I'm going to divide by 2. Because um, if you divide by 2, you're just like multiplying by a half. Um, but you could use your calculator here. So it's minus 11 over 6. Okay, so I'll just put that down like that so you can take a good look at it and look at the steps. So see the first step is you've got to look at what base. Okay, is it a base 2, 3, 5? And then the next step is you need to put it into index form. So you need to draw on all your indice rules to get it into index form. Once you've done that, then what you do is you just equate the indices because they've got the same base. And then this part here is just involved in solve the equation. And then that's it.